Have you ever just got done shooting a pack of film and you're looking through your prints and you're feeling good about them, but then on some of your shots you notice you have these white streaks all over the photos? Well, we're gonna talk about what they are and what you can do to fix them, but before we do that, on this channel we cover everything that has to do with Polaroid and instant film photography. So if that's something that you're into, should definitely consider subscribing. Okay, so back to the photos, right? You're going through, you just got done with the photo shoot, maybe you were out with some friends or you had a, a camera out on vacation, and you're looking through and you're noticing that some of your photos have these like light streaks that are really, really bright, and they seem just like an area of the print that's just extremely overexposed. And because you wanna figure out what those are, you probably hopped online or went to Polaroid Originals website to see what's going on with that. And an idea that's kind of been floating around in the um, instant film photography community, specifically having to do with Polaroid, is that maybe your rollers are dirty, right? So you go, okay, it's my rollers. So you grab a, a camera and you and you, and you check out the rollers, right? And, and you're looking in the rollers and you're making sure that they're clean. And maybe you've looked up a tutorial, just like one I'll link here from Polaroid Originals. It's really, really helpful. Using a damp cloth or cotton swab, gently clean the rollers. Press the red shutter button to advance the rollers. So you went through, you clean your rollers, cool. Shut it, new film, you're back shooting again. Only to find out that it's the same thing. Again, you still have these streaks. What's going on? So you already tried the first solution. You looked at cleaning your rollers, that didn't work. So maybe it's possibly because your film is old. So you try to make sure that now when you go to the store, you buy the freshest film available by looking at the film date that's on the pack. So that way you can make sure that you're shooting the freshest available and that you're storing it cold, like somewhere in your refrigerator. But that's still not working. We're still getting photos that have the street. And then you might have thought, okay, well, I need to shield my Polaroid from light. So right when it comes out of the camera, I'll make sure that, you know, it's being covered from that light initially. So maybe you bought a frog tongue and you installed that, or you bought a vintage camera that you made sure that had a frog tongue. Still no luck. Yeah. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that really has a lot more to do with the film production than it has to do with anything that you're doing as a photographer. So what the heck is going on with these streaks on your photos? Well, again, it's got nothing to do with you and everything to do with how the film is produced. It's an opacification problem when the film is being made. Polaroid Originals, since they rebranded from a possible project, they've been producing film under the new name Polaroid Originals for about two years now. And to be honest, because instant photography is so much of a science, they still don't have that process 100% nailed down. So when they're making this film, when this film is being pr produced, they're not having the quality consistency that they used to have once, once upon a time when it was operating under Polaroid. And so they're seeing some of those issues with this film. Polaroid Originals is definitely 100% aware of the issue. And I think as time goes on and they continue to build on what they have and they continue to produce film year after year, um, I think the quality is going to get better. You have to remember, when Impossible Project took over the last remaining factory that Polaroid had operational, they essentially had to start from scratch with a lot of the things that they were going to do. And if you think about how much science and technology um, and manufacturing and engineering went into producing instant film, it's something that took years and years and decades to develop. And I think it's going to be something that's going to take a little bit longer than a couple of years to work out. But if you're like me, you try not to get too upset about the streaks. When it comes to anything that has to do with photography, I try not to get upset with things that I can't control. Yes, it can be annoying because maybe you shot a beautiful portrait or you shot a beautiful landscape and you have that light streak in there um, or you have that white streak in there and now you think that your picture is ruined. But honestly, anybody who gets into shooting instant film photography, you shoot it because it's unique and you shoot it because it's different. And if it, you wanted to get a perfect image that you could manipulate and meticulously go over, over and over and over again, then you would just shoot digital and you can bring it into post, Lightroom, Photoshop, and you can get the image that you want. That's the kind of the beauty, again, with shooting instant photography is that once you hit that shutter button, you really never know what you're gonna get. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope this helps you to not stress so much about those like streaks on your photos. Again, nothing to do with you. You're not doing anything wrong. Um, it's just one of those issues that they're still having with the film. And I think, again, it's gonna get better over time. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. I put videos out every single week and it would mean the world if you subscribe to me. Until the next video, I'll see you guys on the next one.